Welcome to Walla Walla and the very first edition of the Garden City Gazette, Walla Walla's old time newspaper. This is the very first edition, April 14th, 1894. So pour yourself a steamy cup of tea and step back in time with me to hear the news of 128 years ago. Many of these places in Walla Walla can still be seen and enjoyed today. Wilbur Frisk Brock, editor. With this issue, the Garden City makes its first appearance. Herewith, its publishers solicit the patronage of the public which they have chosen to serve. The Gazette was conceived in necessity, necessity of livelihood for its editor and his assistants, and necessity for the people of Walla Walla, for a fearless component of the common good, and its birth occurs under an auspicious star this is no enterprise of short duration. The Gazette established to stay, to live, to prosper. Railroads smash up. Three cars derailed on the Union Pacific narrow gauge. Miraculous escape. Thump, bump, bump, kabang, crash, sounded forth on the quiet vespers of Al Thomas's ranch. The engineer of the Mountain Queen found his steed jerking and coming to a sudden standstill. Human voices were heard arising from the debris which caused apprehension, for it was remembered that Mr. C and H.F. Holmes, workmen on the train, had locked themselves in the trailer, a boxcar which was loaded with sacks of wheat and which now was one of the three in the ditch. Beware of bad paper money and counterfeit dimes made of aluminum. They are said to be going the rounds in Washington. Mr. and Mrs. J.H. Koblenz, corner of Park and Birch, were serenaded Tuesday evening by a party of young ladies and gentlemen. Mok Ging Foy, an opium smuggler of Dayton, was initiated in the mysteries of a striped suit, dark cell, pick and shovel this week. should be plenty of salmon up the creeks this year. Never have the fish laws been so strict and so well enforced by both Oregon and Washington at the mouth of the Columbia as this year. The streams have all been high, which enables the fish to make an easy passage to their sources. Consequently, in the near future, we may expect a good spring run in our waters. The salmon are far on their way, as they have been recently seen in large numbers along the Columbia. So it'd be wise precaution to have gigs and grab hooks sharpened and ready for emergency. Cycling should receive the attention it deserves in Walla Walla. What, why does it not? That is the question that is agitating the minds of a few of the riders of this festive wheel in this city. There are a great many riders here, numbering among its devotees, those from both sexes and all ages. An individual rides from business motives to the one who mounts the Hala steed for pleasure. Here are genuine heirs of European estates, Frank, William, Henry, and Auguste Osterman, contractors of the city, have received 20,000 marks from the sale of part of the estate which falls to them in Germany. Brother Frank, after his visit with his homeland, said, Yes, sir, my own home, just as natural as life. I was so happy I ran up to the carriage and climbed out on the cannon barrel to get close to it. I wanted to touch it. It seemed as though as I could knock at the door and my mother would open it. The work of enlarging the ME Church of this city is progressing rapidly and will soon be completed. The difficult matter of providing seats for the many who throng to this house of worship. For many months, the ushers have been obliged each Sabbath to seat the aisles of the church and often throw open the lecture room, which is rather inconvenient both for the speaker and the hearer. Music 